Hi, I'm Kieran. Welcome to On Today's Ride. And this week we're in a little village called Llanarmon and Yao. This lovely raised up churchyard in the middle of the village. And it's a village in the Cluidians in North Wales, near where I live. And it gave its name to Yale University. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, here's a nice view of the Cluidians. So they stretch. Kind of, not, you're not huge hills, they're not big mountains by any stretch, but they uh, they stretch from, well, they kind of, Llangoclin is the Gluidians basically at the beginning, and they stretch north past Rithin, Denby, and up to the north coast at Prestatin. Uh, there's a long distance footpath along them off as Dyke. Uh, I do a lot of road riding here, it's some really good, there's four or five stiff climbs up into their toughies. And uh, there's a good bit of mountain biking, which I haven't done a lot of before, so... I've done bits and pieces, but I just found this route online, thought I'd check it out. Yeah, so the Indian summer continues. We're into September, and we're having better weather than we had for the whole of July or August. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's an observation I have made before about British weather, is... that between sort of March and October, you can pretty much get anything at any time. <laughs> you can't plan anything. You can't book anything if it's weather dependent. That's why I don't I don't join cycling events in this country. I don't join sportives and stuff unless I can join two days before. <laughs> and everything so everything's all in advance nowadays, isn't it? I did join. I did sign up for one event last year. And that was a, a, an attempt at the world record Everesting, the most number of people to Everest a hill in a day. And I signed up for that, and guess what? It got called off due to the weather. But it wasn't the sort of weather you might expect. It got called off due to extreme heat. <laughs> and that is a first for the UK. And it really was extreme heat. It wasn't just the British being wusses. <laughs> it was a freak weekend last summer when the temperatures went up to 40 degrees, which is unheard of in the UK, and we were not ready for it. Uh, and the event involved... Dufferin Cluid, Cluid Valley. Uh, yeah, the, the event involved everything, which, as I've said before, I think, means uh, repeat climbs on a hill, on a particular hill, until you've climbed the equivalent of Everest, which is 8,848 metres, although maybe nowadays it's gone up a metre. I think they've remeasured it. But 8,848 is a more pleasing number. But yeah, so repeats on a hill like that, and it was like it was a short one as well, so it was about 50 repeats or more on a south-facing exposed slope in 40 degrees of sun so maybe not surprisingly the insurers of the event pulled out said no uh, and i was i didn't really fancy doing it would have been about 17 or 18 hours of climbing <laughs> so madness anyway but you need the right conditions uh, when i've done everest in the past i've done a couple uh, the first one went in blind and ignorant and got away with it. Second one, you know, I just, I, uh, I, I knew I was going to do it at some point, but I just waited until there were favourable weather conditions. That sort of event, that sort of activity is brutally hard enough without having to deal with cold, wet, wind, etc. But yeah, today, fantastic. Uh, Yeah, one of the best days of the year. Classic little stony track in the Cluidians. Nothing too technical. A little bit rocky. Kind of old farm tracks, old drovers tracks. So the old drovers paths are where people would... Drovers would drive their sheep to market so into the nearest market town, so from here that would have been Rithin, which is behind us, so they'd have been driving their sheep to market. So you get these extensive network of old drovers trails across the UK, and you, and you can tell that they're old tracks, they're often sunken down, you know, beneath the level of the fields, old trees and hedges, 
really lovely. Lovely old gate. And these old stone lintels. They've been there a long old time. It's just a metal ring. <laughs> Let's see better days, but that's the job. Keeps keeps the cows and the the sheep in. <laughs> Fantastic. Nature's bounty. First blackberries of autumn. Mm. Oh yeah, sweet. Very nice. It can be a bit sour sometimes, but oh, lovely. Free lunch. Oh, there's hundreds of them. <laughs> Gonna tuck in. Other signs of autumn. The rowans, the mountain ash, that's its other name, are... Oh, yeah, the leaves are starting to turn and the berries are out, so... Definitely that time of year. Okay, I've got the drone set to follow. Uh, and I'm using the external microphone, so we won't hear the drone, but we'll probably get wind noise through the mic even though it's got a little fluffy wind protector. Doesn't seem to do that much. Anyway, lovely little descent. A little bit stony, a little bit rocky, can't go too fast, which is good. Keep an eye on my speed because the drone, one of the drone's limitations, oh, look at that. One of the drone's limitations is its speed. It can only do about 15 miles an hour, 23k pH. Uh, but then on, you know, on downhills like this, I'm not absolutely pooning it down, so that's fine going at this speed. I can always speed it up in the editing, make it look like I'm a daredevil. <laughs> so I've got it on dolly track now, that means it flies in front of you. Not so good at that. It can get a bit confused, but it's quite open here. I think it's just if there's stuff in the way. I mean, it doesn't have obstacle avoidance technology. So you've just got to be careful that you're not riding towards a tree or something. And what you can get it to do, which I quite like now, if I just speed past it, it should switch into follow mode. Okay, this is a really steep push up. It doesn't look too bad in the drone shot here. It looks very gentle, but believe me, it was very steep and really grassy and soft as well. So really tricky riding conditions. I think I could have probably run a few meters only. So finally a bit of downhill for a reward. Rocky. Nice. That was just the most awful push up. <laughs> You probably see it on the drone, I filmed a bit. It was like 26, 27%, which is extremely steep anyway, just on grass. I don't think anyone could ride that. Maybe on an e-bike. So I don't know, I copied this ride off someone from the internet and I wonder if they did it on an e-bike. Because it's had two or three nasty, brutally unrideable climbs on it. Oh you know what? The rest of it's been superb though. It was a tough ride. I mean, it was tough anyway, but then I had problems with the back tire for about the last 10k, uh, and everything I tried just wouldn't, it wouldn't hold air for more than a few minutes, so uh, that's how soft it is. That's what I've ridden back on. So I'd sort of stop, pump it up, ride furiously, feel it going, pump it up, that, that old story. So many of you have been there before, like leaning right over the front, trying to keep the weight off the back tire. Ah, out the saddle the whole way back, but still, fantastic ride. Uh, and I made it back, didn't have to walk, so that's good. Okay, hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like, uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and see you soon on today's ride. <laughs>